This is my 100% free to play account, Emotional Damage. Now, in my last video, on the one year mark, I crossed 33,500 trophies with 61 brawlers, which is not too bad. But now, I'm gonna have to start really pushing some trophies. So, in this episode, I'm setting myself to very lofty goals. First off, I wanna push a brawler to rank 30. Secondly, I wanna get all the way to 37,000 trophies, which is gonna take a lot of playing. So... On day 369, I started out by heading into the permanent vacation challenge. Now, I personally always really love these challenges, not just for the rewards, but because I get to play my brawlers that are power one, but I get to experience them in their full glory, hypercharged and all. And in the very first game, I dropped the hammer on an old school brawl ball map, Triple Dribble. Now, I'd let you hear my awesome commentary, but because I'm a moron, I forgot to turn on my microphone, so I'll let my editor add something appropriate here. Okay, $19 Fortnite card. Who wants it? Remember, share, share, share. After smashing my way through the challenge, I got this legendary star drop. Now, it's not the best, but beggars can't be choosers. And then Agent Potter and Ed Kip wanted to push some more, so I leveled up my Janet to Power 9 and jumped into some Hot Zone. Now, after winning some games, we got into some Brawl Ball where I bought Janet's Drop the Base gadget, and then we went on this wicked run where we won 41 straight games before losing. And hey, check it out. Look at my reaction. Oh. That's some quality audio right there. After getting Janet to 500 trophies, Potter wanted to play some higher brawlers, so I decided just to start on my 1,000 trophy push right now and broke out my favorite brawler and got back in the hot zone. We played pretty darn well, and then we started having some trouble around 850 trophies or so, where it was just back and forth for a while, so we decided to call it. But if you thought I was done, then clearly you underestimate my addiction because then I went and played a bunch of 5v5 with some of my friends, getting my Shelly to almost 700 trophies. Oh, what, you think that that's all? <laughs> nope, because later I played my Buster up to 500 trophies pretty easy, and then I played Lou all the way to 500 trophies as well. Okay, now I'm done with the first day. Now, if you thought I slowed down at all the next day, well then, you'd be right, because uh, I had to play Frank, and nothing sucks the fun out of life like playing a brawler that gets his super countered by every single brawler in the game. Also, I just generally suck with it. And after suffering a while with Frank, in my second star drop, I got this. Come on now, come on now. What, skin? No, it's actually Sprout. I don't have Sprout. Yo! I then turned my attention to another milestone. 35,000 trophies, pushing 8-bit in heist, and I got him to one win away, and, and then this happened. Dang it. I mean, I, okay, so it was a minor setback, and after the next game, I was once again within one game, and... And we lose. Yeah. So, we went to try some Brawl Ball. Ow, dude, I literally just died so freaking fast. Clearly, I'm going the wrong way here. But finally, with a few wins, I crossed the 35,000 trophy mark and I claimed my mythic star drop. What are we gonna get? Could it perhaps be something amazing? Maisie skin? Tech Maisie. Well, okay. Now over the next few days, I spent a lot of time working on the end tables that I've been progressing on for quite a while. You've probably seen the pictures. And I finally finished the first of them. There's just a few hours more finishing and sanding on the second one and I'll have them both done. That's a win. Now this day I had my final two quests of the Brawl Pass to complete, which is a little sad because I will never be able to buy the Brawl Pass on this account again, but I completed them by playing Sprout in Brawl Ball with my friends and on win number eight, I pulled this Mythic Star Drop. Ooh, my final Star Drop on the final day? Come on. Let's rock! That's a crappy spray. And then I finished the day pushing Sprout past 250 trophies and collecting some rewards. Today was the day of the update and it was time for everyone to fully experience the overpowered brutality that is Kit. Except not me, because I'm free to play, so yeah.
but I did have some friends who got them, so I took this opportunity to push Frank because, well, frankly, I could be carried by Kit. However, even with that, a Power 6 Frank was brutal to play. So I reluctantly leveled him up to Power 9 and then finished off the push at 550 trophies where, flat out, I couldn't take it anymore. No, he how did he score? How did he score that? Then I played a little tick action in Knockout, getting ticked back over 700 trophies, and then I figured it was time to play a little bit more Crow since we were all playing high trophy brawlers anyways, and I still have my mission to get a thousand trophies on this brawler. And in just our second Knockout game, I had this showdown with Colt at the end for the win. Win. And you should too. After that, we did pretty well climbing up to 925 trophies before one of my friends had to leave and we tried some different comps and yeah, it wasn't actually working. I tilted him back under 900 trophies and then I decided it was time to break out the big guns and I hit up my friends Gustavo and Chino. Now, if you don't know Bobby, he's a pro player for STMN who finished number two in the world last year. He also has an awesome YouTube channel that you should absolutely check out. I'm recording right now. I'm recording a video! And Chino is a longtime friend from years back, and also he's a pro player who plays for Luminosity. There was, however, just uh, one small problem. We didn't have a kit, and this is when Kit was insanely overpowered. But I figured, you know, hey, I got Bobby and Chino. It's not going to be an issue. And for the most part, it wasn't, but... The dreaded Rosa Kit comp was literally impossible for me to kill as a crow. Like, I, ca I can't even deal as much damage as Kit passively healed. So while we were winning, thanks to Bobby and Chino, there were games where we just couldn't stop that combo. That being said, we finally jumped over to Hot Zone where we wouldn't face that combo near as much. And in no time, I achieved my very first goal of this video. Boss fight was back, which means easy quests. So I gambled and re-rolled a bunch, hoping to get some that lined up for maximum efficiency, but I lost. Remind me to never go to Vegas. But after boss fight, it was time for more pushing, and this time I set my sights on Charlie since she's still really strong. Now we played a bunch of games in Gym Grab, had some awesome games. Ooh, nice one, nice. As well as we had some heartbreakers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was unfortunate. I didn't see those mines. Are you kidding me? We destroy them the whole game and I get hit by one mines and that's it. Ah, <sighs> so unfortunate. Then we moved over to Brawl Ball and finished Ooh. off the push, getting Charlie to 800 trophies, which also put me over 36,000 trophies and in striking distance of my second goal of 37,000 trophies. Now you haven't seen me opening any of my star drops on the Brawl Pass and there's a reason for this. It's because literally everyone I have gotten this season has been about as exciting as filing my tax returns, which is to say they, they've all sucked. Like every single last one. And then to make matters worse, none of my friends were online, so I just hopped into some games with some randoms playing Colonel Ruffs, and, well, I mean, it wasn't great. I didn't give you my dog treat for nothing. Eventually, we did get Ruffs' quest done, and then I played some Buster, getting him to 600 trophies, also making some pretty good plays in the process. But it wasn't all good, because then I decided to play some Power 9 Brock in Knockout, and I realized once again just how fragile he is, especially when you're playing against max level brawlers like literally i get one shot by nani and before i'd realized it i had tilted my brock so i just finished up the day with some sprout completing my quest and i called it a day now i only had a couple days left to get my 37,000 trophy goal so i really had to put it in gear and go but then after my first few games i realized i had actually put it into reverse and i was losing trophies so I swapped over to BB, and in our very first game, we had an insane nail biter where we had less than 600 hit points left on our safe, yet somehow managed to bring it back for the win. Yeah, we, we, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, how did we win that? So then I only had one quest left. 
and it was the dreaded play again. Which of course we all kept failing at over and over again, but eventually we all got on the same page and we did the massively hard task of pressing one button. Also, I got my Hank to 550 in the process. And then there was just one day left, and once again I had no friends online, so randoms it is. Bo! Okay, cool. Bull, 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 bull. This is your moment, bro. This is your moment. Oh my gosh. Really, though? I will do it myself. I will do it myself. These weren't the easiest games, but I did manage to get my damage and kills to satisfy my quest, but I still had some 8-bit to play, so I did that with my friends, and we kept going, but Kit was still running rampant. So we grabbed our own Kit, and I tried out some Shelly and Brawl Ball, hoping that I could counter it. Dude, like, I can't even... It's a Shelly hypercharge, and he can't. I can't get him off. I was honestly starting to get a bit frustrated, and despite some good wins, we were losing quite a bit too. I was just hoping to get Shelly up to 700 trophies when I didn't even notice that we'd switched game modes, and I found myself in Gym Grab being the Shelly Gym Carrier. And surprisingly, it worked. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we did it again, and I got Shelly to over 700 trophies. Then I wanted to get my Brock back up after tilting him earlier in this video, and then quickly realized that, yeah, I can't do that in Knockout. I have zero health, and any shots, I'm just basically insta-dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How? I was frustrated, so we went back to Brawl Ball looking for something to just go right, and in a classic move of dump three, we forgot to switch modes and we took our Brawl Ball comp into knockout. Oops. I thought this was gonna be a write off, but somehow, some way, we won. Okay, actually, I know why we won. It was because Rosa and Kit, but you know, whatever. But then we went into the mode we were meant to go into, and in this game, oh man, okay. this game. We didn't score that? Are you kidding me right now? Dang it. Go, we had that, bro. We had that. I was so salty after that game that I just quit, and I meant to finish off that night to get to 37,000, but I got busy watching young Sheldon with Tilly, and uh, I forgot, so I failed. So then I only achieved one of my two goals in this video, but regardless, I made a ton of progress. I hit an awesome achievement with Crow and pushed myself ever closer to my final goal of reaching 50,000 trophies and beating Brawl Stars as a free to play.